will go through in our feature match here. Neil Robertson, three. 21-year-old German Lucas Kleckers, three. Kleckers, a brand new professional. Neil Robertson, vastly experienced and one of the most decorated players of the modern era, but potentially on the cusp of an upset defeat. Well, it was good pace on the break-off shot from Neil, but that was a half chance. And when you've had the sort of struggles that Robertson has had in recent times, the doubts can begin to creep in with a match like this, which he probably feels he should have won by now. Negative thoughts can begin to appear. Is it going to be another one of those days for me? A match that I've largely bossed, which could yet slip away. And... That kind of thing can only add to the doubts. Cluckers, remember, fluked the final black to level at 2 all when Robertson looked poised for 3-1. And then it looked as though the Australian was going to win 4-2 before running out of position in the previous frame. Just over two hours in for those uh, six frames. He's left it. Mm. Well, this would be an amazing story. A new kid on the block playing against the defending champion with the possibility of putting him out. He's going to get the first opportunity. One. It's one thing, of course, though, to put yourself in a position to win. It's another to actually clinch the deal, particularly when you're so new to this level of snooker. So a real test of the young man's temperament, and he's overcut the black. Lucas Kleckers won. Well, I don't know whether he's covered the pocket, and Neil might be able to squeeze this one off the black. Well, that was a great early chance in the decider. Might, well, I'm sure he's feeling the pressure. Now, does this go? The problem here is the, the door kiss, and it will stay out. Well, to my mind, that was never in. That was never going to go. Just didn't look to be enough for him to play that shot. But Robertson knows a good deal more than I do, and he was behind it. Did that look on to you, Mike? No. Not unless it sort of breathed in on the way through. I don't think that was on. Indicative of Robertson's mindset in the last half hour or so, just so eager to get over the line, maybe too eager. This one will squeeze, though. One. Well, we talked about Mark Davis's win against Stuart Bingham, which isn't a really an upset, because we know the calibre player Mark Davis is. Phil mentioned before that the scoreline was, but the, the, the win wasn't. But this really would be a major upset. Not just this year. Eight. Well, all the years previous. And Klecker's presented with second opportunity and the decider very quickly nine and it's a pretty good one to at the very least build a sizable lead 
but there is a lot of pressure on the young man's shoulders. This is very much uncharted territory, Mike. It is, but uh, he had a few good wins in the Q score to come through, didn't he? Through the first Q school, there was two on offer. It would be headline news back in Germany, that's for sure. Well, he had six matches in the first one, Phil, and he only had one final frame decider. Beat Martin O'Donnell 4 1 in the final qualifying round. 24. I would imagine. His heart is beating rather faster than normal right now. It's all about trying to control those emotions, try to forget about the occasion and just concentrate on the balls. Imagine it's a club situation. Much easier said than done. And that one looked wide, but it just wriggled in. Is it going to be his day? Well, it did, didn't it? At that pace, that was questionable but it took it he's got the perfect angle to get into the pack here well he's got that right into the middle but this could be a key shot don't forget to pop the black well he struck that beautifully and he's on one to the middle he's got them open the long as this is dead straight he can run through for the blue what a chance this is to put out the world number seven and the defended champion Jack Lazowski will play the winner. He would have been expecting to play Neil Robertson, but right now that's looking less likely. This still needs good queuing, though, hampered by the red. Thirty-three. Might have to play the blue to the corner. Queued that well. Still pressure on these. He's holding himself together really well here. Yeah, this is a real pressure shot, isn't it, if he mm. takes it on? Well, welcome to the world of professional snooker, hey? Absolutely. He's put himself in a position to create a big upset, bag a major scalp. Can he finish the job? Right in the heart of the pocket. Now, has he landed on this left-hand red? I'm not sure. He played just past the other one. He might have just got there, actually. Can't quite see okay. at the moment from the camera angle. Yeah, the body language suggests he has. Yep. And one good pot here. And he will be the firm favourite to win. I think he's got a little bit of an angle just to stun behind the black as well into the same corner. Oh, it's tight, but I think it's okay. I just wonder whether he can drop this in. Nicely held. 39. Well, again, what a chance. Yeah. Just gathering himself. Buying a few extra seconds, getting the referee to clean the cue ball. Nothing Neil Robertson can do except sit and hope. And, yeah, that rather sums up the way he's feeling. It looked as though he was going to complete victory in the previous frame. Didn't get the cannon he wanted. He was a bit unlucky not to get it. And then, as we've said already, pushed the boat out a little with a very difficult red. Was punished by an excellent break from Kleckers. And now... 46. He's staring down the barrel. Well, this will be a nice one to put on your CV early on in your career. Absolutely. Four 
Just his second professional match, remember. Got a walkover to the round of 64. Lost to Ben Wollaston in qualifying for the China Championship. So this is just his second match as a pro. Well, this certainly would make up for that loss. But it's good that he's just taking his time here and not rushing. Double checking everything. That's not a bad idea. He knows what a golden opportunity this now is. Just underhit that one slightly. I was about to say, Phil, it looks like he's got it all, doesn't it? It's a good cue action. It's solid. It looks like he's got a good temperament as well. Mm, a bright future ahead. And beating the world number seven, former world champion. Well, that will help his confidence immensely. But he's not there yet. <laughs> Still 83 on the table, so this is another big shot. Passes another test. Yes, he's played these really well so far. Could play the green here for the left and red, left of the pack, or will he play the blue? Will he play the risk of the cannon? He might do, you know. He might go into the pink full ball. He's got the green for the left and red. That's the percentage shot. I think he's OK. And this okay. opens up two reds to the right-hand corner. I think he's OK. And again, just taking a timeout. Very sensible. He's edging closer to the winning line. This, remember, the result of Neil Robertson taking on a red that, frankly, didn't look on. Fifty-nine. Robertson has made two mistakes in the last two frames. The previous one was punished with a frame-winning contribution, and this is the red he tried. I mean, there's just no way through there. Well, he had to hit the top cushion first, and he was a mile away. Well played. This red, his frame, and match ball. What a performance this is from this young man. Not a flicker of emotion. He's nope. all business. Well, I'll tell you what, Phil, every credit. Absolutely. And even this demanding Latvian crowd can find a hint of applause for what is an ice-cool contribution here from the 21-year-old from Essen in Germany. I think we might have found a new star. 74. Well, it is, of course, very early days, and one swallow doesn't make a summer, but to beat Neil Robertson, even a slightly... Out of sorts, Neil Robertson, as he has been in the last 12 months or so. In just his second professional match, well, that is an outstanding achievement. And to do it from 3-2 behind as well, with two really excellent breaks, punishing his opponent's mistakes to the full. 82. And threatening to finish the match with a century, which would be his second already as a pro in his second match. Made 82 in the first frame, he's bettered that now. But he'll be feeling very good inside. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame, but it really doesn't matter. Neil Robertson offers his hand. That's a wonderful victory for Lucas Kleckers. What a performance in just his second match as a professional. He's not...